It's winter in Sydney and the frosty weather has well and truly set in. But if you're having trouble keeping the cold at bay, you might be able to pick up a few handy hints from the animals at Taronga Zoo. Taronga's majestic Kodiak bear Bethel keeps warm over the frosty season thanks to her long shaggy fur, which keeps her rugged up like a thick jacket. 34-year-old Bethel is the last brown bear living in Australasia, but the old girl's very well catered for, with lots of heated rocks and a toasty cave to snooze in when the temperature outside drops. Just down the road from Bethel, the meerkats are turning up the heat by basking under heat lamps installed in their African desert-themed home. And the winter winds don't get these tiny critters down either. They've evolved the ability to close their ears to protect against desert sandstorms in the wild. Orson, the Australian sea lion, is one Taronga resident who doesn't mind a dip this winter. His keepers have helped him pack on a whopping 40 kilogram layer of blubber under his fur to see him through the frosty months and insulate himself against the chilly water temperature. New arrivals at Taronga, the ringtail lemurs, have their own unique ways of beating the cold. No, they're not meditating. They like to warm things up by basking in the sun in what's called the lotus position. Over at the rainforest cone at Taronga's reptile world, Taronga Zoo's reptile constituency is oblivious to the freezing weather, enjoying subtropical temperatures all year round. Heated to a very comfy 30 degrees to simulate the natural environment of animals like boa constrictors, tree frogs, green iguanas, basilisks, and the critically endangered Fijian crested iguana, the reptile cone is one of the warmest places in Sydney. It's no wonder Taronga's scaliest cold-blooded inhabitants are enjoying a sudden boost in popularity.